Hello everyone, Titanius here. We're going to be talking about DSP's recent membership drive today. So what happened recently is that DSP had two very big gifted membership polls and he had about a 300 one that expired recently and then a 200 one that expired two days after that. So his memberships went down from about 900 all the way to about like 300 or something. And DSP is not really happy about that. He expected these memberships to sustain themselves. And what happened is that they didn't because allegedly 300 of them were about because of a bot, apparently. Allegedly, at least. And the other 200, I guess people didn't renew them because, you know, that's what happens with gifted memberships. It's just they're not all going to be renewed, obviously. And Phil has lowered his marathon goal because obviously he wants to have a holiday marathon. And he'll have some kind of holiday marathon in some form or whatever, when it, if he hits the goal or not. But Phil really wants this goal to be hit. It's like, hey, I want to wear a hat. It's like, it's a thing like that. And he could just do it himself. But it's, I guess it's his $4 membership drive and people don't want to do that. So let's see what Phil has to say about that. Um, the only other real housekeeping thing that I have to talk about as of today, if you can see down here, we have finally gotten to the point where all of the gifted memberships on the channel have expired. All those member bombs, because there was like three or four of them, they have all expired, all right? So we are back down to the base level of members on DSP Gaming, which always was between three and 400 members before gifted memberships were launched earlier this year, and then we consistently had gifted members all the time, okay? Yeah, so what he's saying is that the gifted memberships, for whatever reason this time of year, have gone down after like six months of him having gifted members, because he actually got into the beta with the gifted members. Because the algorithm knew that his chat, for whatever reason, gifts a lot of memberships. And for whatever reason this time of year, the gifted memberships are not there yet. Okay, as you can see, I have adjusted it appropriately. So now the goal is still within reach. We need about 125 members in order to hit the goal for the month. What is the goal for the month? The Christmas Marathon. And he has about seven days to make that goal. In which I dress up in holiday attire. We have fun with games, okay? That you guys nominate and vote. There's usually festive events taking place like a special feasting with the king or a special DSP tries it or both. The thing about a DSP holiday marathon stream or any marathon stream is that he streams all the time, so it kind of disincentivizes an actual marathon stream from occurring. He doesn't get that he needs to offer more than just, you know, like, feasting with the king and a marathon stream. But he just doesn't see that. <clears throat> okay, I want to do this this year with you guys, but we need some support here when it comes to members, all right? So, if you're not a member, what are you waiting for? Do we really believe that DSP is going to spend the holidays not streaming? Are we really going to believe that? You get a million benefits, like highlighted name in the chat and comments of the videos. Chat crown badge to show how long you've been a supporter, again, in the chat or in the comments of videos. Access to all of my emotes in the chat and the comments of videos. If you're here on the live streams, you don't have to abide by any slow mode rules. You can talk as much as you want. For special events, such as Ask the King or the upcoming Christmas Marathon event, we just did this with the Halloween event, members get priority to get your question answered on a show, to get a game nominated for an event. In fact, Dead by Daylight was the game that was picked exclusively by members to be in the Halloween event. And it made it right in because of that, you see? So please consider becoming a channel member. There's so many benefits. It's cheaper than being a subscriber over on Twitch. It's only $4 as opposed to Twitch, it's five or more. Um, It supports the channel in a big way. Per month. That's not what he, he's forgot that it's per month. Okay, all right, and Hey, it's the holiday season. Perhaps you would like to support your fellow viewer, someone else who also enjoys DSP Gaming and his content, right? It's a great way to do it. Gift a membership to your fellow. He's the only guy that I, well, I haven't been watching a lot of streamers, but he's the only guy who does this. Like, tis the season, gift a membership. Are you kidding me? That is the corniest thing ever. And the thing is, the people that, like, he doesn't really get, like, a bunch of people who do, like, one gifted members, five gifted members. It's like the people who give like 50 gifted members. It's a disparity, like what you think it is versus what actually happens. Viewer, people absolutely love that, right? So please consider it. There's right now, no exaggeration, hundreds of people in the stream 
that are willing to accept a gifted membership, they're at the ready. Well, obviously. I mean, if someone's gifting them, why not? Like, that's pretty, that's fairly obvious, Phil. We all get that. We all know that. Okay. It's like it makes you wonder, who is he talking to? Oh, wait, the whales. So thank you in advance to anyone who considers contributing to this channel in any way and supporting it. I really appreciate that. Okay? Um. All right. I think, honestly, I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today. Um. Oh, there's a few other things I should mention. I've, I've been forgetting to mention this the past couple of days. If you tip $8... Or more in any given tip you can ask my magic eight ball a question okay so here's the question for today yeah the eight ball has run its course okay. will we see the pikachu hat on stream today during the pokemon scarlet playthrough well obviously ask again later no i'm asking again right now will we see the pikachu hat today on the pokemon scarlet playthrough My sources say no. And you know what that means? He's upset because he's like, oh, if that's correct. I mean, obviously he's acting here. He's not gonna reach the goal. But you know, I haven't gotten to that stream at that point. What? 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 So you can ask the Magic 8 Ball question too, if you tip $8 or more in a single tip. And if you tip $8, I'm- He really wants to wear the hat, everyone. He really does. A new animation for the Magic 8 Ball, okay? I've only played it like once. So there's an actual specific animation if you tip eight for the 8 Ball, okay? There you go. I think that's it. I really, I pretty think, I think I covered everything. <clears throat> I was thinking, do I have other housekeeping things to talk about or whatever? Um, don't think so, right? So, okay, cool. The thing is, I hate to say it, is actually the nicknaming a Pokemon for $25 if it stays at this party is probably actually more of a bang for your buck than $8 for the Magic 8 Ball. I hate to say it, but yeah. The thing that DSP doesn't really get about memberships is that Let's just throw gifted memberships out of the equation because we know who's gifting members for him. The thing is, if someone's going to become a member, it's more than likely that they super chat him a lot because really, like, the thing about a super chat is it's instant gratification. Like, with a membership, you have to wait a month to get that. Like, obviously, you get the perks, like the emotes and things like that, but people really don't... Or, like, I guess with Phil, they do. But people really... As far as I know, the majority of the reason that people want to become members is not really because of the perks, is because they want to support the channel. I mean, obviously, it's a live streaming channel, so, yeah, you get those perks, too, which is part of it. But primarily, it's because they want to support the channel. I may be wrong about that, but... The thing is that the people that primarily become members are people who super chat a lot. So it's like, oh, if I'm... It's just the same as a super chat. It just has to wait... I just the wait about, but I already super chat him so much that like in for a petty and for a pound, I guess. It's, so it's not really likely as someone who doesn't really super chat him at all is gonna become a member. There, a lot of people are just lurkers, and you just gotta realize that it's, you're not gonna in, you're not gonna have everybody in your audience talk to you and things like that. But the thing is, the people that do come in and talk with you, you should talk with them. And Phil doesn't really do that, and that's why he's having trouble reaching these members' goals when he doesn't have a gifted sub-bomb, as he likes to call them. Because people don't feel that engagement with him. Obviously, there are people in the chat, like, that are watching him for reasons that he doesn't want to be watched, obviously. There are people that are screen-capping, things like that. They're basically just watching for the train wreck as it goes along very, very slowly. But DSP doesn't really get that. Like, in theory, the way he's thinking about it, it's like, oh, if someone it's a four dollar membership so like that in theory should be the same weight as someone who tips or the super chat but the thing is it's not really a membership is kind of like in it's what people see it as it's an above and beyond thing so like with the super chat and the tip you get the instant gratification with memberships you don't get a message until like a month afterwards where you get like the milestone thing 
and Phil doesn't realize that he has to engage with his audience to say, hey, I'm going to deliver the content, I'm going to go deliver the interactions that you want, that will make you want to support me. Instead, he's doing the guilt tripping manner, which is like, oh, I'm not going to be able to form groceries if you don't support me. Which is like, it's the case for any live streamer or person who does YouTube or Twitch for all time. But the thing is, the ones that have success don't do this. The ones that guilt trip usually fizzle out. The thing with Phil is that Phil got in early, so he had years to cultivate a base. And it's a small amount of people that it's whittled down to, but they're still supporting him. And he should be very, very grateful that they are supporting him. But Phil likes to push for these things, like he wants to get higher and higher, but the thing is, to get more memberships, you have to get more viewers. Unless you have somebody coming in that's gifting 300 memberships every month, but that's really not sustainable, is it? But Phil has been finding ways to make things like this sustainable, even though it's very atypical for a streamer. But will Phil reach his holiday marathon goal? I'm pretty sure it's going to happen in one way or another. It's probably going to happen, it's probably going to go down to the wire where somebody's going to panic. One of his whales is going to panic and say, hey, I got to get the, or it's not going to happen, even though it's obviously going to happen. But we shall see what is in the cards. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Titanius turning off the TV. See you all next time. Bye.